Hello and welcome to this week's programming challenge solution. Today I'm going to show you a C++ program that will sort two identical arrays. One array will be sorted with a bubble sort function and the other will be sorted by a selection sort function and I'll display the number of exchanges that each sorting mechanism performed. Okay, so here are my function prototypes. I decided to display the contents of the arrays before and after sorting because I think it would help the user see the transformation. So I'll explain what each of these do when we get down to the function definitions. So my main function begins here. And first I'm going to initialize my arrays. So the challenge asks for two identical arrays, which means that both arrays are the same type, size, and have the same values in the same memory locations. So I'm also adding a counter variable uh, because I have some for loops that will display the unsorted values right here. Okay, so here I'm calling my first function and immediately after I'm calling the show bubble sort function to display the contents of the array after sorting. Okay, the next part of my code will display the unsorted values of the second array. So it should look exactly like the unsorted values of the first array. And again, here I call the selection um, sort function, and then this function will display the sorted values. And this part of my code pauses the program to allow the user to review the data. Okay, so here we are um, in my function definitions. So this function here um, will perform the bubble sort. I have a few variables here. Um, so the bubble sort starts by comparing the first two elements of the array. So if the element in location 0 is greater than the element in the um, array's location 1, then they are exchanged. And this is repeated throughout the entire array until each value is arranged from smallest to greatest. So um, I'm using this temporary uh, in temp variable, and that's going to help the program kind of store values while it's just moving things around. And this variable, um, the exchange variable, that's going to be how I count how many exchanges are um, happening while this sorting is occurring. Okay, so now I also included the show bubble sort function right here and to the user and it, because I wanted them to verify that all the values in the array are sorted so I thought that would be nice and this function definition is the selection sort and the selection sort is uh, usually more efficient than the bubble sort because it works by locating the smallest value and swapping it with the value in the first location of the array element 0. The program then scans for the smallest um, value and by leaving out the location in element zero as it already has a smallest from the last scan. So this is repeated until it reaches the final arrangement. Okay, so finally um, we have the function that will display the contents of the second array after it's been sorted. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so as you can see, the unsorted arrays are exactly the same uh, before and after sorting. Now the difference is that the bubble sort made 110 exchanges and the selection sort made 24. So the selection sort was more than four times efficient than the bubble sort. Cool. Thank you for watching. See you next week.